Hello, I'm Kelsey Yacht, and I worked in the Department of Pathobiology at the Ontario Veterinary College for Dr. Brandon Lilly this summer. The title of my project was Variable Hepatic Expression of Porcine Surfactant Protein D Associated with Three Novel Promoter Polymorphisms. Despite extensive research and advances in technology, infectious disease remains a significant economic problem in swine production. The innate immune system plays a central role in protecting pigs against infectious disease. Single gene studies, such as one done with mannin binding lectin, have shown that polymorphisms in the promoter region of these genes can correlate to variable expression. A genome-wide study was undertaken using 44,000 probes for 20,000 genes and a microarray was done. The most variably expressed innate immune genes were ranked from most variably to least variably expressed relative to GAP-DH, the housekeeping gene. Surfactant protein D was amongst one of the most variably expressed. This uh, figure one indicates, shows the expression levels of surfactant protein D in these hundred pigs. So it's a log two letter, so from the least variably, or sorry, the lowest expressors to the highest expressors, there's approximately a 64 fold increase in expression. Um, I, I was given surfactant protein D to study, so that's kind of where I came in. So what I was, what my first objective was, was to sequence the promoter region of surfactant protein D. So I designed primers to amplify approximately a 3000 base pair fragment of the genome, or of the promoter region. I then sent it for automated sequencing, in which I found three single nucleotide polymorphisms, or SNPs. They're indicated in figure two by the bold and the arrows, so three individual SNPs. And you can see by the chromatogram here that this, um, the SNPs, so these ones would all, this would be the three SNPs, the three respective SNPs, um, the homozygote wild type, and then the three, um, three individuals that are heterozygotes, so you would see two peaks at each of these individual points. After the SNPs had been identified, we wanted to genotype a larger number of pigs, so we developed a restriction fragment length polymorphism test, or an RFLP test, in which we used enzymes to digest or not digest, depending on the nucleotide sequence. So you would see here, the first three in each of these respective gels would be homozygote for each of the respective SNPs. Um, so the enzyme would digest completely, so you would see two shorter fragments. The last two of each of these, you would see a longer fragment and two shorter, because one allele would be digested and one would be not digested, indicating a heterozygote for the SNP. We genotyped um, the, bottom ten, the bottom 10 expressors and the top 10 expressors, and we found that six of the seven top 10 expressors had at least one of the SNPs in the promoter region indicating a possible gain-of-function mutation coding for increased expression. In summary, we found that surfactant protein D was variably expressed in the liver. We identified three single nucleotide polymorphisms in the promoter region, and we used an RFLP test to genotype 20 pigs. In the future, we hope to genotype diseased as well as healthy pigs to test if these SNPs correlate to increased disease resistance. We also hope to genotype additional pigs which were used for the microarray study and to verify the microarray data using quantitative PCR. I am currently testing pulmonary surfactant protein D expression as surfactant is primarily a lung protein and these results may be more significant. We are also analyzing the additional genes which were identified to be variably expressed by the microarray. I would like to thank Dr. Brandon Lilly, my supervisor, as well as Heinz Snyman, Yuta Hammermuller, and everyone else in our lab. I would also like to thank NSERC, Ontario Pork, and the University of Guelph URA for the funding for this project. Thank you.